We, as people, are taking technology and putting it inside our bodies. Um, so we, Australia is famous for the cochlear implants. People can hear because they've got computers inside their ears. But we have artificial joints now, and they're going to get more and more robotic with more capabilities. And so us people, as we get older, are going to get a little more robotic. And so, you know, people are sort of worried about robots, but we are becoming robots in some ways. When I was a boy growing up in Glenelg, I tried to build computers and I really liked, you know, making the lights go and I, I, built, I built machines that could play noughts and crosses, uh, simple games. Um, I wanted to build robots, but I wasn't really good at the mechanical stuff. Flinders had a mainframe computer with 16 kilobytes of memory. So from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. every Sunday, I was in with the computer, running it ourselves, and learning all sorts of stuff. I realized that I wanted to make computer science my career, and um, so then I applied to uh, places in the United States and was fortunate enough that computer science wasn't yet so popular in the United States that it was impossible to get into a good PhD program. Got into Carnegie Mellon and Stanford, so I went to the library at Flinders and got an atlas and found out where they were. And California was closer to Australia, so that's the one I chose. I, I was very fortunate to get to Silicon Valley before anyone really knew Silicon Valley. It wasn't really called that. But I was there at the golden time when things were just starting to take off. I had a lot of great students and started building lots of robots. And then I realized that maybe there were commercial applications. And so I started starting companies. I've, I've actually started five companies, three of which no one has ever heard of because they failed. I have uh, iRobot which makes the Roomba vacuum cleaning robot and also made military robots for roadside bombs in Iraq and Afghanistan. My new company is called Rethink Robotics and we're building robots to go into factories. But we have a version that we sell as a research robot because I think it's very important for researchers to have easy to use robots. And so Baxter is in a couple of hundred research labs around the world, including at Flinders.